welcome. It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So today's let's talk about personal trainers. When you need them, what type of trainer you should be looking for, and what are great attributes about what I consider a great personal trainer. Now keep in mind that I have been doing uh, things in the fitness industry from corporate to personal to group exercise to group training uh, for a little over 15 and a half, 16 years. So I would definitely say that I've ran the gambit during that time and I've worked with some pretty heavy hitters across the board. So I feel as if I have done it enough and had enough experience to be able to speak with a little bit of authority on how exactly personal training should look. It's going to absolutely be approached differently for different people and their needs and attributes. But for the most part, there are some general rules that you should go about looking for in a great personal trainee. Now, let's talk about who picks a personal trainer, who decides that they want a trainer. You usually fall into one of three categories. Either you're a novice and you're scared of the gym and you wanna make sure that you're starting off right and you get a trainer. Or you the person who has done all that you can do with your fitness knowledge and you've reached a plateau and you'd like to take it to the next level, or you're the person that has been instructed typically from a medical professional who has advised you that you need to go ahead and acquire a personal trainer to get you to a fitness level that's more comparable to your health goals. I would like to address that all of those types of personal trainers are really one within the same. A true personal training under personal trainer understands the individual's needs. Now, a lot of people have come online, bless you, and you have said to people that you can train them because you yourself have lost 15, 20 pounds, and now that you have the personal knowledge, you feel as if you could train others. I personally steer away from those type of people. One, because I don't feel as if uh, to know how to lose weight for yourself means that you understand other people's bodies. Two, obviously, this is a science. It is also a profession. Uh, people that have actually gone and been degreed in kinesiology and uh, sports medicine and things of that nature don't take it lightly. We who are true professionals understand that it's not necessarily just book knowledge, but it's also bedside manner. It's also the ability to hear your client and what their actual lifestyle is, meaning no trainer should give uh, any clients a cookie cutter meal plan or suggestions of meals if they know one, nothing about nutrition, and two, they don't understand your lifestyle. So first things first, you wanna make sure that the personal trainer is knowledgeable. And knowledgeable, again, does not mean how many certifications they have or how many de degrees they actually have, but it means that they understand people and specifically they understand you. Two, you wanna make sure that you can trust the person. If you find yourself hiring a personal trainer and every time that you're training with this trainer, you're having questions and you don't feel like they're answered and you're going out and asking other friends and other trainers, basically, you know, if the trainer's telling you the truth or not, that's not the trainer for you. You're spending too much money, time and effort into a goal that you're trying to reach and you do not want a trainer that you do not feel like you can trust. A trainer for most is someone that you can actually ask questions to, the person can answer the questions or they can find out knowledge about the questions. You want them to be someone that you can trust. Trust is absolutely everything, okay? Number three, you wanna make sure that this person or persons, depending on how your life is set up, if you have more than one trainer, you wanna make sure that they understand your medical and health history. If you find a trainer who says, sure, I can train you, and they've asked you absolutely nothing about any injuries or your um, family history and basic health, health issues, you want to make sure that you do not acquire that trainer. All trainers should definitely have a medical history background with you, and it should not be something that they're not aware of. That causes a lot of issue down the road. It also causes a lot of conflict with what you actually need. If you're on medication, if you're not, when you're taking it, what the side effects are, doing the research on what the medication is if they don't understand what it is or have never heard of it. You just wanna make sure that someone's taking the time to understand your history. Number four, I believe we're on. You wanna make sure that the person is fit. Now, a lot of people say, well, what does that mean? Well, it's a simple dynamic. If the person cannot, motivate themselves to do it, you really wanna make sure that 
they can motivate you. I find it hard to see people who call themselves trainers and they're not in a physical position themselves. Now, I'm not talking about skinny, but what I'm talking about is that they're in their optimal health, whatever that is. There's different looks for different fields in fitness. Power lifters are not necessarily lean because they are moving for power. Fitness competitors are fitness competitors and they have an on and off season look. That's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is that you can completely look at this person and say they have done the work, they understand the work, at least for themselves, and they're motivating themselves. Again, if they can't motivate themselves, very complicated for me to believe that they can motivate you, my opinion. Next, you wanna make sure that they're available. You do not wanna book a personal trainer sight unseen. What does that mean? If you are not talking about their availability from the very beginning, that's a problem. With all of my clients, I like to do what's called an assessment. It's usually 20 to 30 minutes, it's free. I wanna basically see how you move and breathe before we even get started. From that point, I can typically tell you how many sessions I would suggest per week and what exactly your homework would be. Now, I, again, am a trainer that gives my clients homework, meaning I don't want the only time that you're thinking about what I'm teaching you to be when you're with me. I want that time to be exclusive to perfecting whatever I'm teaching. Some trainers don't feel that way, that's just me. I think that that's a great quality of a personal trainer, therefore I do it. Lastly, but not least, you wanna make sure that this personal trainer is not only making sure that you're getting enough rest, but that you're also getting enough fuel. Now, there's a lot of fads on the market. There's all kinds of diets and most people fall into a diet because let's just be honest, you want the fastest pattern to whatever the success level you want to happen as quickly as possible. Typically diets mean weight loss. So if you are on a diet, it is typically because you're trying to lose weight. You think that you can lose weight and tone at the same time, typically you cannot. Either you're in a deficit or you're in a sustainment. Now, some people argue that point, it's just what I believe. I do not believe in trying to lose weight and build at the exact same time unless you are equipped to do that. Typically only a fitness professional, professional, meaning a fitness competitor, um, a bodybuilder, a power lifter understands the sacrifices and supplements that you need to take in order to achieve that goal. Standardly, the average American does not. So for the most part, either my clients are building or they're losing. Very complicated to do them both because there is a level of commitment that takes sheer will for you to get through. And I've just noticed through the years, it's not very easy for the average person to do. Life gets in the way, family gets in the way, situations get in the way and you fall off. Typically a fitness competitor, that's their lifestyle. That is also so their main source of income for the most part it's a little different for them and they can make that commitment. But what you want to do is find out if your personal trainer is elite in both areas or simply one, meaning do they usually train fitness competitors and fitness professionals or everyday people? Because there's two different dynamics to that, okay? So these are all the attributes that I would tell you that you would be looking for in a personal trainer. You also don't wanna believe that more is better, meaning if a personal trainer is super expensive, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are a great trainer. It simply means that that's what their fees are. Some trainers are reasonable, or I should say inexpensive, some aren't. It's the trainer's perspective, and based on their market, they can judge what they're looking to get or gain as they will, but never base it on, oh, that trainer's really cheap, so they must not be good, or that trainer's really expensive, so they must be amazing. Always pay attention to the integrity and the words that are coming out of the trainer's mouth and making sure that you align with them for your optimal abilities, okay? So when do you wanna get a trainer? Usually you fall again into those three categories. Either you're starting at the gym and you wanna start perfect, or you have told yourself that you've read any blog on the planet and the blog has told you how to do and that you now realize that you actually need a professional and reading it is not gonna be enough, or you're the person who has been advised by the doctor that you need to actually get a personal trainer. Any of those people need to actually find a fitness professional. Do yourself the favor, do it right the first time, 
build the form, build the diligence and the consistency and the dedication and you'll go far. Okay, so that is our life lesson today on personal training and just giving you some attributes on what you're looking for in a personal trainer. Feel free to send me any messages and comment below. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Send it out to anyone who's looking because this is the time of the year that we're going to get really interested in trying to build our body for the next year. And you want to make sure that you're actually hiring and acquiring the people that you need. Okay, so thank you again so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And remember to live life authentic. Have a nice day.